Hi, my name's Trev Hutchings and this is how to use your Vortex Wireless 2 as a loop station. If you have the Vortex Wireless 2, you probably have installed Ableton Live Lite. So click on File and select New Live Set. For the purposes of this video, create four MIDI files, each of a one bar beat. To do this, add a MIDI instrument to the MIDI tracks. Then double click on one of the slots. Now select the draw button. In the MIDI note editor, create your MIDI. To test your beat, press on the play button next to the beat. Then create the second beat. Now create the other two beats. To change the length of the notes, right mouse click and choose them from the fixed grid. Now, with each beat, go down to the MIDI note editor and click on the L button. And in the launch section, change the launch mode to toggle. Now, make sure your vortex is connected and turned on. And go to Preferences. Select Link MIDI. And here in the MIDI ports you'll see the Vortex Wireless. On the Vortex Wireless import, turn the remote. Now, up here in the top right, click on the MIDI button. 
and now select. One of the beats. And press a pad on the vortex to assign it to the beat. And do the same with the other three beats. Turn the MIDI off. And at this point, you want to save your live set. Now, when you press one of the pads on the vortex, it will play each one of the beats. If you've copied the video, you should have ended up with something like this. If you like this video, do give us the thumbs up and press on that subscribe button. Cheers!